Today's video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Now look, fellas, we all have a batarang, you know what I'm saying? And we all know modern comic nerds hold hygiene in exceptionally high regard. That's why we partnered with the leading global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. Manscaped was cool enough to hook us up with their performance package that features their Lawn Mower 4.0, a waterproof body trimmer with ceramic blades designed to keep your web shooter and infinity stones safe and sound when maintenance is required. It features a cordless charging system and up to 90 minutes of battery life if you're basically the Wolverine. They also hooked us up with the Crop Preserver and Crop Reviver, which are a dynamic duo of amazing deodorant and moisturizer for your cosmic cubes. Lastly, they hooked us up with the Weed Whacker Wireless Nose and Ear Trimmer, a great tool for cleaning up the savage lands that might be growing in your schnoz or ears. Go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping and two free gifts when you use promo code KEYISSUES at checkout. The link is in the description, so act now and always use the right tools for the job. Welcome back to a series we haven't touched in about a year, I'm sorry, Amazon's Invincible. I know we still have a bit of time before the second season comes around, but my workload is a bit lighter right now, so I wanted to go ahead and touch on some of the characters that I didn't get a chance to make videos on before. Now obviously, if you're new around here, make sure to click the subscribe link and notification bell to get alerted to all of our new videos and all that junk. Today's video is going to cover the thickest clones in the universe, the Mahler Twins. The Mahler twins made their comic book debut in Invincible number 2. One of the twins first tangled with Mark Grayson in the evening after he developed his powers. Mark attempted to stop one of the twins from robbing a local electronics store of a bunch of video game systems. Mahler ended up defending himself not knowing that Mark was superpowered and a Viltrumite. However, the teen team arrived to help stop Mahler who was then beaten unconscious. Now, before we continue their story, there are some interesting facts that I want to present about the Mahler twins that are pretty interesting, at least to me, before we jump back into the rest of their comic history. First and foremost, the Mahler twins are geniuses with a knack for cloning. In fact, the Mahler twins don't technically know which twin, if either, is the actual original Mahler twin. We do know that the original Mahler had a battle with Omni-Man and the Guardians of the Globe, however, that battle was never fleshed out in the comics, instead it was just mentioned. So it's pretty interesting that the twins themselves don't truly know if either of them were ever actually the original versus just being a clone of the original. But it kind of doesn't really matter and we'll see how that pans out throughout the rest of the video. Following the initial confrontation, one of the twins are tracked by the teen team and apprehended. A few issues later in the series after Omni-Man had killed the Guardians of the Globe, we see the Mahler twins at the funeral for the fallen heroes. This enrages a number of heroes, however, the twins insist that they are there only to pay their respects to the fallen guardians. However, the twins aren't quite as respectful of the dead as their funeral appearance leads the heroes to believe, because later that same night they retrieve the decapitated body of the immortal to experiment on. The twins attempt to revive the immortal in order to control him, but by attaching his head to his body, they inadvertently cause him to revive himself. The immortal, whose last memories were of being attacked and killed by Omni-Man, flies off in a rage to confront the hero, leaving the twins kinda dumbfounded. The twins were next shown again doing a robbery, and this time they were confronted by the same man they tried to resurrect, the immortal. There's presumably a battle that takes place, but it's never really shown, because the next time we see the twins, they're in jail. And this is when things kind of go off the rails for the Mahler twins. The next time we see the twins, they are rescued from prison by Angstrom Levy, one of Invincible's most dangerous enemies. Angstrom breaks the twins out of jail in exchange for helping him with a scientific project he's working on. At this point in his life, Angstrom is a brilliant scientist who became aware of the concept of multiple dimensions. In order to raise his own intellect in order to help him explore the multiverse further, he asks the multi-twins to help him build a device capable of bridging the consciousness and intelligence of all of the different Angstrom levies across their multiverse. To do this, the Maulers implement their own clones in dozens of other universes where there are Angstrom levies, and they build similar machines. However, Mark arrives, sent by Cecil Stedman to shut down the operation. In the process, Angstrom releases dozens of Mahler twins from across various dimensions and a massive fight breaks out. In the end, the machine explodes with Angstrom Levy still connected to it. This kills all of the Mahler twins except for one and horribly disfigures both the remaining Mahler and Angstrom Levy. 
The remaining Mauler did what he does best and cloned a new Mauler twin. However, seeing as one Mauler was horribly scarred, there was no mistaking who the clone was. This new Mauler goes by King Mauler for a period of about three pages before the other clone kills him by poisoning him. The rationale behind the other Mauler twin poisoning him is that it's not important who the original leader of the Mauler group is. Instead, it's probably a negative, preventing real work from being done in exchange for focusing on the hierarchy of their organization. No sooner than the dynamic is re-established, the Mauler twins are approached by Robot. Robot asks the Mauler twins to transfer his consciousness into a cloned body. Robot had cloned a body for himself out of Rexplode's DNA, and wanted his consciousness and intellect transferred into this new body. However, the Mauler twins tell him that his request is impossible, but they can clone his consciousness and place it into the clone body. The ramifications of this process create a new being with Rex's body and Robot's intellect. For way more information on this, check out both Robot and Rexplode's videos. However, after the cloning is complete, Robot reveals that he has no intention of letting the Mauler twins run free after they helped him obtain his new body. The Mauler twins attempt to fight Robot, which goes pretty poorly, and they are sent back to prison for the foreseeable future. During a massive attack by Doc Seismic, the Mauler twins are inadvertently let loose from prison again. They are next seen breaking into a nuclear facility in Anderson, Wyoming, when Invincible and his little brother Oliver arrive. The Mauler twins attempt to steal nukes in order to bring the global communications infrastructure offline in a weird, convoluted attempt to control the world. However, while Invincible leaves to stop a nuke they fired at the sun, Oliver stays and murders the twins in battle. This effectively ends the threat of the Mauler twins once and for all. Except it doesn't, because in the side series Guarding the Globe, the Guardians uncover that at least one of the Mauler twins at some point in time was operating out of a base in Kuwait. This Mauler twin put his efforts into creating a gene bomb. Once detonated, the bomb was designed to affect the subject's chromosomes and turn any of their future unborn male babies into Maulers. And while this Mauler was eventually stopped, the fate of the Mauler babies and Mauler himself was never known. Mauler is just kind of impossible to get rid of, there's always another one around somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised if we see them pop up again here in the show every now and then. And that is about it for the Mauler Twins. I hope you learned a lot, and if you did, consider liking and subscribing and doing all those other things that YouTubers ask you to do. This has been Nick with Key Issues, and remember the motto, Mauler Twins over everything.